Okay, welcome everyone. Um, today I'm going to unbox the Insta360 One R Twin Edition action camera. Um, I'm very excited about this one. Um, I'm new to um, vlogging on motorcycles. Um, I've been using several action cameras or other cameras mainly um, DJI um, cameras so I have these Osmo pockets uh, which doesn't really work um, on a um, motorcycle doesn't matter where I mount it except uh, on my body which I don't really like um, also I'm filming this video with uh, Osmo action um, the action, uh, Osmo action works fine, but it's hard to get uh, really good um, video quality. Also, the uh, the shooting angles are kind of fixed or limited. Plus, the field of view of the Osmo action is quite narrow, um, unless you want to use the full third uh, ratio but you can't use the rock steady stabilization on it so with the rock steady stabilization on the auction at uh, the Osmo action the field of view is quite limited it's quite narrow uh, which doesn't give a very uh, dramatic or interesting footage uh, a lot of the time plus um, mounting the action also my action on a motorcycle kind of um, affects its image quality because of the vibration from the, uh, the motorcycle uh, so after doing some research online and seeing a lot of um, YouTube videos I uh, found out a lot of um, other people other creators using this the Insta360 camera um, so the twin edition has two uh, cameras coming with it so it has a core module um, a 360 um, camera mod and the wide angle 4k um, camera mod plus the battery and the mounts uh, the mount and charging cables So it's capable of shooting wide angle um, as well as shooting in the 360 degree uh, video which you can later um, change the angle of view or field of view as you wish um, when editing the, uh, um, the video. So enough said, let's open this and see what's inside. I like the way they package this, so there's no cover on top of it. So as long as you open, as soon as you open the box, you can see what's the main component inside. So that's the core module and the 4K wide-angle lens that's already uh, attached to each other. Um, well, kind of surprised, mainly because of the size of um, this camera. I know this is a pretty big lens by the look of it, um, but still, compared to a um, small action, um, this is considerably bulkier 
and that's just the camera line and when you add on the um, the battery the battery pack it's probably um, 50% more or 50% larger than a Osmo Action or any uh, other comparable GoPro cameras um, it's quite light so we have a screen I kind of like it and this is your 360 degree camera mod so there's one camera on each side and um, we can shoot um, pretty much a 180 degree field of view um, image on both sides and later you can use the software to stitch it up to give you a 360 degree image aside see what's inside the box Charging cable, I think. Right. Okay, looks like that's. Yeah. That's all inside the box. Put the uh, the box on the side. Or later. Things like this. So menus, stickers. I think that's a um, wiping cloth. Print. Yeah, menus, quick stuff guides, a list of items inside. Okay, I'll go through that later. That's just. Yeah, the humidifying gel. Oh. Don't know why I give you a few more of these. Maybe for when you take the camera out. All right. So that appears to be the mounting bracket for the camera. Okay. It feels quite um solid and sturdy, even though this is plastic. Um well, that clip alright, okay, so because this is a clip uh, lock, so that feels quite light to um, actually lock the system but once it's locked it's pretty hard to um, rip it open so that feels good let's put the um, camera inside and see how it feels so this is more like the Osmo Action that I have um, a similar cage right now with the core module the camera the battery um, plus the, um, the mounting cage it is a pretty big action cam um, but it's not very heavy still I think um, it worked well on most 
um, places that you will mount this camera. I'm planning to use this mainly on a motorcycle. Um, so I'll see how it works for me. I've seen other people using these and it works fantastic. So we'll wait and see. Um, this appears to be the um, the lens cap for the 360 degree camera module. So you just slide it over and you just clamp over the lens. So give you protection when you are putting this in the back or just simply when you're not using it but you're holding it in your hand so if you bump it to something that will protect the, uh, the lens okay, what's inside this? oh okay that's another mounting bracket so this comes with the quarter screw um, mount with a um, locking pin so I think this is standard for um, any GoPro like um, accessories so basically just yeah it's like any GoPro camera Although yeah, it looks pretty nice. Um, let's see if I can around the uh, camera and see. Well, normally this should. Okay, it looks like there's yeah, flat battery. I probably have to charge it first before I can turn it on. But never mind. Um, okay, here we go. This is the um, Insta 360 1R Twin Edition Action Cam. Ooh, it's quite tight in there. So to switch cameras, you just them apart and you can add on to the other camera module straight away just clip them on um, this is a 360 mod so right so there is a way you have to mount this together so all the ports should face down because, um, yeah, because all those um, clips needs to get in there to be able to hold both modules together. So you can't really just switch it around, and that, that's not going to work. But with um, the wide angle camera mode because you have these um, holes on both sides and they are identical so basically if you mount it this way 
So you have the screen facing you and the camera facing forward or you can switch it around have the screen and the camera both facing you so you can take selfies selfies or do a vlog of yourself Battery appears to be quite small. It's only a 1190 mAh battery. So I don't think that's going to provide a very long um, time of shooting, I think. Yeah, that's the reason why I don't see the. Uh, charging port. It's a sticker on the side. So once you remove the sticker that just shows the charging port and the SD card port as well. So hmm, it is holes in there by the little cord which is probably not a very um, strong design that might I guess that might break off soon or easily sometime in the future um, I do see people say there is the um, oops To see people say is the capability of actually accessing that charging port and SD card port when you have the cage on. So let's see if that's true. Oh yeah. So there you go. You can access the charging port and the SD card without taking the camera off the um, the mounting cage, which is useful because on a lot of um, action cameras, there's no way you can access the charge port and the SD card port while it's mounted onto the cage. That little um, door will just be um, clamp inside and you can open it so this is quite convenient and I guess um, because this battery is yeah, quite small compared to the size of the camera um, I guess you can plug it in um, to a, um, a power bank or something so that will provide uh, extra juice battery life hopefully that will extend the uh, the shooting time from maybe an hour to several hours okay um, there you go uh, it looks nice and I'll give it a go on my motorcycle as soon as I've got the chance um, so Hopefully I'll see you soon and I'll come back with some real footage on the motorcycle with the Insta360. Thank you.